and welcome to QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager Training. My name is Patrick Hine. And I'm Nate McCarrick. In this course, we'll introduce you to QSC's cloud-based AV remote monitoring and management platform. We'll start with the basic architecture so you have a better understanding of how it works. First and foremost, QSIS Reflect is a secure web platform that's hosted on a mainstream cloud service provider. It allows QSC to develop and deploy modern software products and services that extend the QSIS platform beyond the local area network. Enterprise Manager is the first of many AV services to be deployed on QSIS Reflect. Enterprise Manager is an IT-centric remote monitoring and management solution that allows you to monitor multiple systems in multiple locations. So you can get data on both your native QSIS devices as well as third-party peripherals. And all of this is accomplished without any programming experience. Let's get started. The QSIS Reflect cloud infrastructure is broken into three levels, starting with the organization at the top. The organization represents your company as a whole. Let's call it Nate Core. That sounds like a great place to work. Nate Core is a big organization with offices in Los Angeles and New York. In Enterprise Manager, we'll call these sites. A site typically refers to a physical building or campus, while an organization contains as many sites as the organization requires. The third tier is each individual system because any site can have multiple systems, which is represented by a single design file running on a core. For example, the Los Angeles site has one large system that's using an enterprise core to run paging for the building, and a second system that's using a dedicated Core 110F to run a mission-critical boardroom. And obviously, each of these systems contains peripherals, which are native to QSIS, like uh, QSIS amplifiers, cameras, touchscreens, etc as well as third-party devices with plugins, like third-party lighting control, HVAC displays, you name it. Every core already automatically acts as a system-level aggregator for data from its own peripherals. This means that when it comes to connecting all of this to the Reflect Cloud, the only device that requires an internet connection is the QSIS core. There are no extraneous links between your individual peripheral devices and the cloud. This is great because fewer device connections to the internet means increased system security for your installation. We'll talk about how to connect your QSIS core to the Reflect Cloud later in this course. Once your systems are connected to the Reflect Cloud, Enterprise Manager can help you use this data to provide valuable business outcomes for your organization. You can use Enterprise Manager's real-time system monitoring, customizable alerts, and remote operation tools to equip the right support staff with the right information and the right tools to do their jobs, oftentimes before the end user ever knows that anything's gone wrong. Lastly, there are a number of ways you can view and interact with the data and features you get from Enterprise Manager. The first is an easy-to-use browser-based interface, which you can access from essentially any connected PC or mobile tablet. The second way will allow your AV platform to connect and share data to other IT platforms. The Shangri-La scenario for IT administrators has always been to aggregate data from all their different subsystems onto a single pane of glass. That's servers, telephony, and yes, even AV systems. Oftentimes, they'll use building management systems or software applications like Spelunk or SolarWinds to accomplish this. But historically, AV data has been next to impossible to connect two systems like this. Enterprise Manager solves that problem. Customers can use the QSIS Reflect RESTful API to extract real-time status and time-stamped event logs from the QSIS Reflect database for use in any other software platform. This ability opens up worlds of possibilities, letting you use insights from AV data to feed the decision-making processes for your entire enterprise. In a nutshell, that's QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager. The next few tutorials will review things such as the registration process, connecting cores to the Reflect Cloud, and creating user privileges. Feel free to continue whenever you're ready.